Hey guys, Ray again. What's in this box is something that I don't know anything about. Now obviously I know what's in the box, but the subject of what's in the box is completely 100% new to me. Let's unbox it and we'll have a little bit more discussion. This is very exciting. I have an opportunity now to learn something new, something I don't know anything about. And the adventure of the unknown is very exciting to me. And I look forward to learning everything I've got to learn about this. Okay, there you have it. A tiny little itty bitty 3D printer. It is true. I don't know anything about 3D printing. I know zero about 3D printing. Okay, so the Monoprice Select Mini is a tiny little printer. Yes, that is true. But what I'm interested in is large format printing. Printers like the Creality 5080, the OEM H10, the Modex Big 60, the Big Rep 1, the Wasp Delta 3MT, the Cronus, the Black Belt, or even the BLB The Box. But all of those printers are very expensive, very, very expensive. And in order to get my feet wet, I've got to take little baby steps, which is why I chose the Monoprice Select Mini. I'm going to use this little platform as a learning tool. Once I've learned what I need to know, I can start thinking about something a little bigger or something a lot bigger. But before we can get that far, I've got to get this little guy running. And the first step in that process is leveling the bed. I will tell you that if you go this route with the mono price, you have to really pay attention to leveling the bed. I had to level it over and over and over and over again, and again, and again, and again. Five leveling sessions in total. After which I was getting consistent prints. The next thing, which was one of the easiest things, was to load the filament. Uh, quite straightforward. The user interface on the printer is very easy to follow, although some people hate it. They complain about it. Um, it does look like a touchscreen, even though it is not a touchscreen. But for those of us that remember the era before touchscreens, it's not a big deal. Uh, my one complaint is you will notice that the position of the wheel makes it so that it is directly under the bed when it's fully extended. That'll be my only uh, issue with this, but I don't plan on keeping this printer for a terribly long time, so uh, I'm not really concerned. All right, guys, well, as you can see, I finally got this thing working. She's humming away. Uh, one thing I would like to say is that this is the amount of filament the printer comes with. Uh, it's basically enough to do nothing. So when you buy, if you if you buy uh, this printer or any printer like that, I went ahead and got a full uh, kilogram of, uh, of filament. As you can see right here is the spool. What it comes with is absolutely nothing. I would have consumed all that just with uh, the fiddling around and getting the uh, the initial layer to go down. So it's been at it for about 15 minutes now and it's doing pretty good. And I'm just gonna let it run. All in all, I am very surprised with this. Uh, the printer got up the temperature very quickly. Uh, I don't know what speed it's running at because this is the model that comes on the SD card ready as your first print. If I had to guess, it looks like it's about 25, 30 millimeters a second. So about an inch per second is what it looks like it's traveling. Watching this thing uh, print was actually quite fascinating. Um, seeing it go from zero to the first layer and building the model up. Uh, was intriguing. I've never seen it up close before and uh, I couldn't help but watch it. Now the first print failed. Uh, this is the third attempt and you can see the corner, uh, the lower left corner lifting up a little bit. It ended up failing uh, but uh, on the fourth attempt everything worked out great and one thing I'd like to point out is if you look at the instrument panel it actually gives you a lot of information including temperature and the progress of the print job. As you can see, I'm printing another model for my wife, and in fact, it's a cat. Big surprise there. But let's see what we've got. We've got one completed print that I did last night. And you can actually see the resolution and the quality is actually pretty nice. Uh, I know a lot of uh, 3D print guys will strive for the most perfect uh, print, but you know what? This is not bad. A first attempt. The machine did very well. This was actually the first portion of the print. So my first attempt was a complete failure. 
because the bed was not level enough. The second attempt was a complete, complete failure. It pulled away from the bed uh, very soon after printing. Uh, the third attempt, which you saw, uh, did actually fail. It got this far. As you can see there, it got that far. And it lifted up off the bed and hit the extruder and got pulled off. So, went back and did the fourth attempt. Now, for the fourth attempt, what I did is I turned on the heat bed. Now, they tell you you don't need heat when you're printing in PLA, but I kept getting failures until I turned on the heat bed at 50 degrees Celsius and uh, worked perfectly. This was first attempt with the heated bed was perfect. In fact, I had a hard time removing it and you can see the print that I have in the printer now. It also is on with the heated print bed. No problems whatsoever. Perfect adhesion and it's very near completion now. Okay, so the model price Select Mini version 2, which is what this is, has actually done pretty good. A lot better than I thought a printer of this level would do. I spent 200 bucks on this printer thinking it would be, yeah, you know, I might be all right, but check this out. I'm not sure if you can actually see the level of detail. Now, this not was not done uh, particularly fine detail. This is a one, uh, 0.15 layer height, but uh, I learned quite a bit. I also had a sudden failure where the printer just stopped printing. Mid print, it stopped printing here. However, uh, I was really impressed with the detail. Look at the details in this model. I downloaded it from Thingiverse, the links to this model. And in fact, I'll put links to all three models uh, in Thingiverse if you're interested. Uh, found out a few things, a few limitations. And I will tell you what uh, is true, whether you're making something conventionally or playing around with a 3D printer is that you learn more from your mistakes and your failures than from success. This guy failed. The printer just suddenly failed. And I don't know whether it was the known SD card issue or if you check this out, this is the successful one. It's actually a little bit smaller. Uh, different version of the slicer software said that I could not make it this big. It said I can make it this big, but not this big. So I don't know if somehow it reached the, the maximum capacity of the printer and the printer realized they couldn't actually make the part and stopped. So I don't know if that was the issue, but immediately I went and printed this one and it printed fine. Yeah, if you actually see that, it's a mesh surface. You can see right through that mesh surface. Quite impressive to tell you the truth. The level of detail from a 200 check out this side from a 200 dollar 3d printer what i do see after these experiments is that when everything goes right you set up the printer and then there's nothing to do the printer just does its thing it is actually a lot easier and simpler than machining as you know what we do machining in the shop uh, once it is set up, you can walk away from it. And that is very impressive. I think that I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. As you saw from the video, this is just a baby step. I'm only going to mess with this printer just enough to get a good feel for it. My eyes and my targets are set much, much bigger. So stay tuned. This is not going to be, uh, you're not going to see a whole lot as about 3D printing in general for that. There are tons of other channels. You're not going to see me uh, review this or discuss it for that. There's a whole bunch of other channels. There are a ton of reviews on this printer. If you're thinking about this printer, uh, tons of reviews. I don't need to review it. This is really about, about the learning process, something that I didn't know anything about. And I got to say that the learning curve is not steep at all. Uh, I was printing within an hour of having this thing set up. So, it's something anybody can do, and as we know, a lot of people are doing it. Having never done 3D printing before, I will say this. I am very impressed. This is 
just PLA plastic, I'm impressed with how strong it is. I really am. Flexible, strong. These parts are particularly interesting. Could the prints be better? Yeah, the prints could be better, but you know what? I'm not after the most perfect 3D print. What this is, is a learning experience. And I have learned quite a lot just from a few prints and I've got more to learn. But I can see upgrading this very, very soon. Which one is it gonna be? I don't know, but I will let you guys know. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for future videos.